All right, everybody, welcome back to what could be the finale of Toilet Survival. All we have left on the achievement objective list is to find the Deathbringer sword, which again, it said optional, very difficult to find, hidden very well. So we're gonna, we'll spend some time like mining around seeing if we find anything new. But uh, if we don't find it, I wanna like draw things out because I think people lose interest if I literally just spend hours digging around. Um, and then defeating the Ender Dragon. Of course, we're adding the additional challenge for ourselves of fighting the Wither, so um, that will happen too. But also, I feel like before we head to the end and fight the dragon, uh, we should check out some of the remaining spots. We've got the toilet paper that we haven't been to, and we also have the plunger. They've kind of just been chilling. I've been trying to save some stuff for last, you know, keep people interested, keep people um, in suspense. Because if I had traveled to all the different locations to start, like, People would have just, they would have lost interest, you know, they just would have lost interest. It's kind of a given. Um, now the other question is though, like, should I save, should I make some diamond boots? Or should I just replace some, um, should I replace just with iron instead? I just don't know. Hmm. That was a drowned. Or I could make a, I could make diamond boots, diamond helmet, even. I just think that, like, I might want to use one diamond to repair the pickaxe if we're going to be mining a lot of stuff with it. That's why I lean towards the boots, personally. How about I just do it? I'm going to make diamond boots, and then we'll make diamond, or, uh, iron pants to replace what we currently have. If it is the last episode, it'd be a shame to not use resources, so... Watch, I'm going to somehow regret having done this. There's gonna be something I, I need to use my diamonds for, and it's going to be a very sad day, but. Well, here we go anyway. Um, put that in there, put that in there, and uh, I guess we have Thurkle helmet to be good anyway, so yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Wait, why am I, why am I wearing this one? I don't know, I don't know why I'm wearing that one, that seems silly. Look at all of our lighters, oh. I turned up the friendly mob sounds. I should I should turn that down again. Peace and quiet. Cool. All right, you guys ready to go check out the toilet paper and the plunger? Let's freaking go. You've been so patient. You waited such a long time. I appreciate it. Um, the pigs appreciate it. I've given them so much attention. I know, and and not the toilet paper and the plunger. So too quiet. Now it's too quiet. Should we, we could spend an hour if we wanted to on, on balancing this just right so that it satisfies everybody. Um, we could do, we could do that. Should we? It'd be like in that uh, Among Us episode where we spent like the entire time moving the webcam around the screen to try to optimize it before we just reset it to the place where it started. We could do that. We could do that. Oh God, I'm so used to running so fast in Vault Hunters that I'm like, wait, am I not sprinting? No, I'm definitely sprinting. All right, to the toilet paper. Can we make it in one firework? Not quite. Oh, that's heartbreakingly close. I have to basically waste a firework on this. Ow? Ow, my health? What the heck? That was painful. Can you imagine if I splatted here? That would be a bad place to splat. Oh my god. Uh, oh, yeah, cool, there's another elytra. Wow, huh? This is fancy. Three more iron. Another emerald, an enchanty gapple. Is there anything else though? That's the question. No, that's probably it there. That is probably it. Let's see what it says, huh? Have you never seen a comet in the shape of toilet paper or what? Oh, this is supposed to be a comet. I've also never seen a comet that's got a fiery trail to it. I think comets are like, isn't the definition of a comet like it's a nicey thing? How many elytras have there been? Ever? This is like the fourth or fifth elytra that we found so far. Man, I was so proud when we went to the backside of the toilet earlier on when I was able to find the elytra. Now it's just like, nah, there's elytras everywhere. But, um, you know, feel good that you found them. All right, well, uh, hmm, and... Let's go to the plunger. Well, now you've seen the toilet paper and that's very exciting. So here's on to the next one. Whee! You imagine if I mess that up and I actually just like splatted into the pole there. 
<laughs> that would also be quite embarrassing. What is uh, it's, uh, what's going on here? Let's see. Oh, we got a chest. Uh, another totem. An Endy Pearl. More glass bottles. A question mark. What? Have you never seen a plunger floating over the void before? Why we all have lots of bands who influence still we all rip off Meshuggah. Oh, while, why, why did it say, why did I say why? While we all have bands who influence still, we all rip off Meshuggah. I don't, what is this? Devin Townsend, 2011. I have no idea what this means. What does this mean? I don't understand what this means. Something, is it, is it about is it musicians or ripping off an artist or something like that I have no idea it's a brush not a plunger no it's a plunger to me sorry you may call it a brush I call it a plunger we'll just have to agree to disagree uh I personally plunge my toilet with a, bl a brush so um can be both it can be both Yes, I plunge with a toilet brush. Absolutely, it's a long one. It's like a pipe cleaner. It just reaches and snakes all the way in there and then it dislodges whatever's jammed in there and then we're good to go. Mm -hmm. That's how I plunge. It's the most efficient methodology. Mm -hmm. Don't question it. Don't question it until you try it. You just get a very long toilet brush. It should be at least 30 feet long with a bendy handle and you just uh, stick it into the toilet and just whoop. It's like a colonoscopy tube going through a large intestine. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yep, cool. So that's so that's great, we're doing great. Hey, I wonder if there's anything else we should trade for before we go and uh, fight the dragon and stuff like that. This is awful. What about this is awful? I'm giving you life pro tips. Oh, we had more iron in there, too. I didn't have to be too conservative about the iron, it turns out. Seize? Seize what? Seize the day? I'm trying to seize the day right now. And seize the best means of plunging. All right. I'm trying to plunge you into some great tips and tricks on home maintenance, because that's what I do here. I provide you with the best DIY tips and tricks. That's me. Um, oh, oh, yo, I could bring the totem into the, uh, into the nether and stuff like that. Nether end is the end. That's what I, that's what I meant to talk about. Um, I, yep. Okay, that can go there. Paper we were putting there, you know what? Let me just make a few more fireworks. Probably not worth it. Okay, okay, easy. Easy there, Mr. Horse. Easy there, Mr. Horse, jeez. All up in my business, dude. Calm down. All right, we got 47 fireworks. We've got an extra elytra. You know, it's not even a big deal if we uh, die in the end. I can just get another elytra and... Yes, can I help you, sir? As you guys would say, sir? Sir? Sir, can we help you? Ah, uh, what was it, like eight? I think it was eight that I needed here. Oh, uh, okay, horse. I think your favorite emotes are the, the Zine Sir emotes. Really do be seeming like it. Mm, let's put the uh, bow bake. And, uh, okay, should we use any extra arrows? I don't know. If, if things are a problem, we can just... Let's see. Piercing three, quick charge. I think, uh... I think quick charge is going to be... Potentially better for us. I'll bring more arrow into it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Well, I think it's time to go to the end. All right, you guys. This might be a world first, except for the other people who played this map and completed it. 
um, of somebody surviving on a toilet and going to the end. From the toilet to the end. What a, what a play. What a freaking play, dude. Oh, combine the crossbows. Kind of a cool idea. Will it retain the arrow, though, is the question. It's not gonna, I literally lose an arrow. Eight and nine. Oh, or I can keep the arrow. Is keeping the arrow worth one level of experience? That's the real question. I think the arrow is worth one level. Yeah, arrow's worth a level. There we go, we keep it. We keep it. Perfect. All right, now it's, now it's a big boy. That is a real big boy crossbow right there. Should we do any other enchantments is the question. Maybe just like some one levelers here. Some, some little one levelers, a little prot, dude. A little prot, dude. Uh, prot one, love to see it. Hold on, let me just get some lapis lazuli. Let's be really prepared for this, all right? You can never be too prepared. Oh, also, I should do that. Ah, oh, prot one for three. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. He's crazy. Projectile prot, ew. Projectile prot, ew. What are you doing? It's terrible. Why? Why are you doing this to me? What if I, uh, I, I have idea. I'm gonna do an enchantment here. I'm gonna do a reset enchantment over here. There we go. And now you're gonna be better. Now you've, oh my God, it costs three. You're kidding me. There we go, perfect. And what are you doing? Whatever, I'm just not gonna have prod on my legs. Who needs legs anyway? Not me, dude. I've got an elytra. I can fly around for mobility. All right. All right, dude. Anything else that I need? I don't think so. I think we're up. We might be overprepared. Did I never hurt anybody? And... All right, do we still have issues down here? Nah. Nah. Easy, easy game. Easy life, didn't even take a hit. Oh, dude, we are popping off. And now, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'll put that on once we're on the ground fighting the dragon. Oh, no mobs. And I remembered correctly that it was two already filled in. Ooh, let's go. All right, I don't, dude. I don't even need to, I don't even, I don't even need to like, you know, set my spawn here. It's fine. We can make it back easy. I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Let's, uh, let's go. Yo, actually, I feel like with the crossbow, I could do some pretty, pretty sick. Aerial crystal shots. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I missed that. That's kind of embarrassing. Honestly, it's a little embarrassing. Okay, that's a little embarrassing. That's a little embarrassing. I might be better off with some of the lower ones. Just doing it on the ground. Okay. Got that boy. Got that boy. Got that boy. Turns out when you already have the elytra in the end, it does make life a little bit easier. Might not be the fairest fight. And I'm willing to admit that. But that's okay. You know, when you've done it, when you've done it before, sometimes you just want to do it a little quicker. God, it feels so weird. I can't I can't deal with coming from Vault Hunters and then going into like regular vanilla Minecraft and it just being like everything is so slow. Okay, well. That might have uh that might have taken care of business right there. All right, how about we uh, we do this and um, just wait for the dragon to perch. All right, all right, sharpness three. I wonder if we can get him in two perches, maybe? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I, should I use more arrows? I don't know if I should use more arrows or not. Should we try to find a, should we try to find an end city just for the sake of being thorough? And then it would give me like better armor and stuff for the sake of fighting the wither. Be a little safer, maybe, because the wither can be a bit of a, wither can be kind of toxic. Actually, I should, I should save arrows for the sake of the wither. I should save arrows for the sake of the wither. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it. Maybe use some arming arrows. That could be pretty cool. That could be pretty dope. You gonna perch? You gonna perch? Ah, there we go. That's the perch that I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. This is gonna be quick. It's so loud. I literally can't see you. Okay. Don't be mad at me. That's like a, just a minor little complaint about the dragon fight when you're hitting the head that like half the time it's in a position where it disappears due to like whatever, you know, where the entity is behind you or out of your field of view slightly. And then it's just like, we don't need to display this. I'm just whacking in air. Uh, Skylar Kingston gifted a sub to Sir and this is a Wendy's drive through Two Two different accounts. And, um, I assume that was in response to the, uh, the plunger situation, which I don't know why people found uncomfortable. Oh, I just yeeted myself out. That was dumb. I tried to get a crit. There's a mistake. Shouldn't have done so. Can you stay there for like two seconds longer? And then let me get a few hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't leave me like that. Don't leave me like that. That's not nice. Okay, but actually, I've, um... Interestingly enough, I have, um... I've never actually had to plunge. Well, I've actually, I plunged once. You just shot yourself, you idiot. Learn to be a dragon, oh my god. Um, so... I've only actually had my own toilet since living on my own clog once, and the plunger did not work in that situation. It was just like too far gone. I still don't know what actually clogged the toilet, but it was it was a bad one. It was a real bad one because you see what happened with that one was it blocked like several several like you know converging pipe locations um, on on one floor and. Uh, what ended up happening is that I didn't realize, I didn't realize that it was clogged at first. You're kidding me with that. You're kidding me with that freaking last minute dodge. I don't respect you for doing that to me. So basically, yeah, it wasn't like a direct clog inside of like that toilet. It was further down the line, which means like several, several things are feeding into it. As such, what happens is you don't see the backup. You shot yourself again. Uh, in initially, because it, I, it, you see, it's the lower elevation parts that that you would see the backup in initially. Unfortunately, I don't use that bathroom very regularly, um, and so what takes place is that the backup goes to that low elevation shower drain. And you don't catch it because the toilet that you usually use is slightly higher in elevation than that low shower drain. And then you go and see that shower a little bit later and you're like... Yeah. Did I ever talk about this one? I didn't talk about that one on stream. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not super fun. It's also, though, not the first time that that has uh, happened. In, in my life at homes I've lived in. That also took place at uh, the house that I grew, lived in most of my life growing out. Yeah, one hit. One hit! You really had to draw it out that long, okay? Why do you have to go and do that? So, same thing, it, it basically, my... So at the house growing up, there was a, a bathtub that was like recessed into the floor. And so that was the lowest point in the house, right? And so, um, I found it very funny and fascinating as a uh, six-year-old, why when we flushed the toilet, poop came out of the bathtub. 
didn't quite understand the physics of it at that point that it makes total sense, but I found it very fascinating that that was taking place. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, uh, I was like, this is very unique. I wonder if anybody else I've ever known has, uh, <laughs> has seen that happen in their house. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's what happens when the line backs up and it's something that, that multiple drains flow into. You need to stop. What, what's the problem? Vincent Unalive, thank you for the five sub gifts. Much appreciated. Story, it's the series is not over yet, okay? Let me go see if I can find one end city. I feel like we have the gear for it, and we should be fine. You've never had it happen to you. Well, let me tell you, you're missing out. You really, you really are. You're definitely missing out. Uh... <laughs> Uh, should I just fly into this thing? Eh, whatever. I guess I can just build up to it and then, you know, Elytra in. My whole life is toilet survival true. I mean, God, yeah, like, is this really that inappropriate for a stream on toilet survival? Really? Seriously? Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need to do this. And away we go. Remote getaway. Oh, should we do the thing where we set the we crank the render distance up? We absolutely crank it, bro. That was crazy last time. I love that. I love that. We go insane, bro. We go insane. Um, Bridget with the two hundred bits. Do you have any fun plans for your birthday? Um, no, no. Uh, I might eat a food, maybe. Maybe I'll eat a food. Food's cool. I like food. So if I can do that, that'll be, that'll satisfy me. Is it just me or does it seem like it's not uh, loading as much as it did that other time? Oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe we need to zoom in a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Let's see that render. Let's see that render, dude. I'm thinking maybe like a... Uh, Maybe like a steak place that I like, and I'll actually order a steak, not salmon. You there? Are you, are you there? Are you gonna show? Are you gonna show, dude? Is there anything that way, or is that that's literally just? Oh, I wonder if we're like straight on the edge. We might be on the edge of uh, the thing, and this is like the curvature of the ring of void. Um. Yeah, that's probably the island is back there. Well, not great, not great. Bring it back down a bit. And, uh, okay, let's -a go. Oh wait, actually, uh, we, <laughs> what is this? Uh, 1,000, negative 300, keep those chords in mind. Also, I'm actually going to have to be mindful of the durability because we don't have unbreaking. It's just mending on this thing. <sighs> All right. Hmm. Now, if I were a, if I were an in city, where would I go? Oh, there's a gateway over there. Okay, cool, cool. Um, keep in mind, eighteen hundred negative eight hundred. Eighteen hundred negative eight hundred. Man, I remember back early in season two of Vault Hunters when I splatted 20,000 blocks away in the end, like an idiot. Because <laughs> I looked away, I was doing it off camera. And then I just come back and I have splatted and ruined myself. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna be honest. This is annoying. You would think that I'd have found one by now. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll land on a thing and do another render distance uppy. Bridget, for 200 bits, if you want, we can have a birthday party for you on the sub server with a cool scavenger hunt that leads to a prize or something. I don't know. Not like we've been planning anything at all. LMAO, haha. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is not going very well. This is not going very well at all. Hmm. Could end cities not exist? Ah. Uh, I guess it's possible it could be a world with structures turned off. It seems... Seems unlikely why you would do that, but I guess crazier things have happened. Hmm. Slash locate. Well, that would be kind of cheatsy if, uh, if it hasn't been disabled. Let's see. Well, back down we go. I mean, we'll go for a little bit longer. And I mean, if, if we don't find one, then maybe we'll just fight the wither with what we currently have. I've, I've fought withers with less. So yeah. This madman and his 16 core processor. Yeah, dude. And then what, at 32 threads? Yeah, bro. You know how we do. It's okay, I literally went five years, six years without an upgrade, so I deserved that. All right, I deserved that, and I will probably go in five years from now, people will be like, ew, your PC is so old and sucks, bro, you need to get a new one. Nope, well, there's another gateway. Well. Maybe I need to unalive, I mean kill, sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe I need to obliterate a few endymans here. Just so, yeah. Get a little bit of regen going on my elytra. Nothing personal, kid. Kind of the only way to get levels easily here. I don't feel good about myself, but what you gonna do? This is slow going. Are you going giving me a few more levels, please? Is this toilet? It doesn't look like it, but this is in fact toilet. Alright, I'll go with that for now. Alright everybody, 4200, negative 1100. 4,200 and negative 1,100. Dragon should have been flying around a toilet. That would have been cool. Can you do custom ends? 
Because I feel like with, with lots of maps that have custom overworlds, custom nethers, etc., it's very rare that they have custom ends. Um, and I don't know if that's just a design choice or if it, like, resets itself the first time that you load it. Okay. I guess just a design choice. Most people don't do it. And I, I don't mean custom end biomes. Obviously, that, that's done. But I mean, like, a custom end build, like, we're on a toilet, right? It'd be cool if the end was a big toilet. That'd be awesome. But I'm starting to feel like they might have actually turned off structures. Because this, this is a little bit ridiculous to have not seen even, not even, like, a, a ship end city. But, just like a teeny tiny one. I guess that's why he gave us many elytras. Yeah. Alright, I think, uh... I guess I could do a locate and see. Okay, I swear. I swear I'm not cheating, okay? This is for educational purposes. Um, and city. Ah, yeah, I don't think they... Uh, that was a very quick, could not find that structure nearby. Usually if it doesn't exist, it'll pause for a moment. Like, try to run the test around, you know, a big radius. That was like, that instantly, it was like, nah. Mm -mm, they're not there. Go, <laughs> you're not finding one of these. Sorry about that, bud. But good try. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that makes uh, that makes my life a little bit easier. Wasting time! That was my whole goal. Wasting time so I don't have to look for the Deathbringer. You know, it's fine, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, this gives you a reason to load up the map and play it yourself, because that way you can try to find the Deathbringer, right? It's one of the things when it comes to certain maps, is like, if you see me play through it, then maybe you're not gonna try it yourself, right? Maybe less so with a survival map like this than a a story-based map, but in this case, if I leave something, you know, not done, then it gives you reason to give it a try. All right. I know everyone's always like, bro, you're gonna forget the dragon egg, and I'm like, what am I gonna do, just put it down? I don't even get grid power. I can't hatch this thing. I wonder if they'll ever do an update. Way, way, way in the distant future, the dragon egg update. You think you think they'll ever make the dragon egg like something that you can, I don't know, use, hatch a dragon? Or is that like a hard and fast, we do not touch this. This is like, this remains lore forever. Put it on our furnace. Sorry, we can't get the dragon head. Yeah, I know, we can't get a year. That's horrible. Truly terrible. Truly disappointing. Mm. <laughs> Please, no play. Pixelmon Pokey Splash is full and you can't get in. Oh no, did it really get that popular? Gosh dang, bro. Oh dear, I wonder if I'm going to have to ask them to, uh, potentially put, put some, like, barriers around my house or something like that. Um, okay, well, anyway, I did see someone just said people have claimed the entirety of the area around my house. I'm like, uh oh this, this is getting dicey. Um, well, anywho, they put protection around my house. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Love to hear it, you love to hear it, dude. Uh, it's a village around there now? Alright, dude, we've started a city! We built this city on, um, blocks and, and stone, or nether bones, or whatever the, whatever it was for the one trillion views Minecraft special on YouTube. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do a little wither fight, huh? Yeah, a little wither fight. Oh, wooden stone, yeah, dude, that makes way more sense. Did I even get any soul sand? And maybe I did not get any soul sand. Perhaps. 
Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where be the soul sand? I guess I'll just have to go back into the nether and get it. I think that's where we'll fight the wither anyway. Nether's probably a good spot, other than the part where it probably lava is going to start caving in from the sides and stuff like that. Do I have any fire res pots? That might be a good idea. I do. I do have fire res pots. That's going to be great. Are there any other pots that would be good? Ooh, maybe a turtle master potion with that res 3 for 60% damage reduction? Honestly, kind of huge, maybe. Kind of huge. Oh, yeah, plus we could probably use our smite 3. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I can't do that. Uh, we did have another thing that had smite on it. Is it worth using, though? I feel like... Is... Smite? It was an axe, right? Smite 3 is probably not going to be better than sharpness 3. Here. Wait, what do you... Th actually... What do you guys think? Do I use the Smite 3 Axe, or do I use the Sharpness 3 Netherite Sword? Which one is better, actually? Don't actually know which one is better. Um, you think Sharpness? Yeah, it's kind of what I lean towards. Oh yeah, I should get Malk for sure. Can't even use water in the Nether, bro. Malk all the way, dude. Malk all the way. We're getting a very mixed bag of responses here. Sword, axe, sword, axe, uh, smite, netherite. Just bring both. <laughs> I mean, I can do that, but, you know. Okay. Turtle Master. Probably don't need to, like, fly anywhere, so I can put that back. And, yeah, we just need soul sand. Actually, maybe I'll fly to the soul sand, potentially. Do I have any more potatoes? Uh, you know what? Maybe an enchanty gapple would be good here. That could be good. That could be a great idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a perfect idea. Honestly, super perfect. Enchanty gapple. Turtle master potion. Yeah, honestly, I think we're popping off. I don't think we've, I don't think we've many issues here. I get a few more potatoes, though. Alright, sick. And Smite is better on the Wither, but the Axe is less based there. I know, I know. I just, like, I don't know how much more Smite does to the Wither to make up for less base damage, right? I mean, Smite does do a lot of damage, so... I don't know, we'll see. You know what? I'm gonna eat the Enchanted Gapple before I fight the Wither. I feel like, otherwise, they're not gonna get any use. So, why not? Why not? Yeah. All right, half a stack of potatoes should be good. Um, yeah, let's just, let's go. Let's freaking, let's do the thing. Let's do it up. Don't think I need the timber killer now. Yeah, I know, the uh, the axe um, is gonna be a slower, slower hit. So that's also working against it. I'm not sure though. Anyway. Okay, we are good. Let's go back to the nether and fight the wither. I don't want to do it in the toilet. I don't want to destroy the toilet, okay? I have a, you know, the toilet has treated us very well. And I'd feel really bad if we just, like, blew the bottom out of it. I would reserve that purely for bowel movements. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's go get that soul sand. A little bit over there. Yep, 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 nice. Use the wither to search for the sword. Just let it destroy everything. Yeah, uh, let me use the wither to just destroy the sword. I wouldn't even know that I, I found the sword. I, I would just, like... You have blown out the area where it's at, and and it'll just that'll be that. It'll be done. Game over. GG's. Oh right, wait. Oh, you're right. Mob griefing is off. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. 
Wait, this is gonna be the easiest fight of all time. Is this actually gonna be the easiest fight of all time? I forgot about the mob griefing off thing. Um, hold on. Wait, I don't have to do this in the nether, do I? I can I can do this in the overworld. Oh, you're gonna be a little upset with me. You're gonna be a little upset with me. Please don't be upset. I don't wanna have to do this! You, you brought this upon yourself. Okay, you, you wanna fight on the moon? Let's fight on the moon, bro. Let's fight on the moon! All right, here we go, Moon. This is gonna be, this is gonna be epic. This is gonna be the most epic thing that's ever taken place on the Moon. Strength two pots. Ah, uh, I don't think we need them, bro. I think we good. I think we good. Let's go in, we'll go in that like spawner room area, yeah? Maybe, maybe we'll spice it up a little bit by causing a bunch of zombies to spawn if the wither destroys, uh, torch. I don't think it will though. All right, here we go. What we can do is seal this up. And then if anything, it gets a little dicey. We can just like come down here in order to get away. And the wither won't be able to escape. Oh, this is so big brain. This is so big brain. All right, so we're gonna spawn it. We're gonna eat a gapple. We're gonna take a potion of the turtle master. We're gonna, we don't need the fire resistance anymore. Um, we're gonna be so freaking powerful, it's not even funny. Wait, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enchant my leggings at least and get some prod on, no. No, I actually have a totem. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. There's no way this could possibly go wrong, ever, in a million years. I can't possibly see a way that this could definitely go wrong. Yeah. All right, here we go. World first. Building a wither next to a mob spawner. But hey, the map the map creator is the one who turned off mob griefing, okay? It wasn't me. That was just the way it be. On the moon, too. <laughs> we are very strong currently. Very strong indeed. Exceedingly strong. Quite possibly the strongest. Quite possibly the strongest ever. I think we did pretty well there. Pretty well. Um, guys. I think we did it. We definitely don't have enough ores to build a beacon or anything like that, but um, yeah. We crushed it. Didn't even need to use the smite, bro. All right. Let's head out. It's bittersweet. I enjoyed this. I think this was a, this was a really fun map. Kinda, it just uh, brought me back to like old days, but it was really, it was cool. Had cool builds, had cool things to do, things to discover, secrets to find, things like that. It's pretty awesome. No, how freaking dare you? Unbelievable. The absolute nerve of some of these monsters, I swear. I swear. Are you quite finished? Thank you. You're kidding me! Oh, dig underneath the saloon? You know, I could do that. Actually, that is a spot that I haven't seen yet. Hold on, let's let's check it. Let's check it really quick. And also, let's uh, see if we can get an enchantment on these. Yeah, anything? Anything interesting?
casting? Right, all these blast prop, projectile prop, just kind of gross. Kind of gross. Am I going to use all that TNT? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. That's kind of the thing that we do, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I got to do the dropper. Oh, with my 65 levels, that's actually painful, dude. Destroy the toilet. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see if there is actually anything underneath the uh, balloon saloon. There's probably not. But I don't know enough to say that for sure. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Lara, is that you? Yo, we just tomb raided, bro. Never mind, there is. Name tag, husk spawn egg, nuggies, and a new song. Oh my god, bro. What, uh, what's this Heckman? Oh, oh, I said Heckman. I'm so sorry. Fire Prop 4, Curse of Binding. That seems like a bad deal if i being honest with you there. Okay. Okay. Well, now we get to listen to music as we blow things up. Go inside the balloon. But we already, like, mined the balloon, dude. You want me to mine the balloon again? I'm just gonna, fine. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to break the balloon again. Ow. Hey, hi there. Man, you really encourage uh, breaking and destroying everything in this, don't you? Oh, it's just a lot of, a lot of colorful stuff. I guess that makes sense. But emerald too. How pretty. How pretty. Why is this series uh, so encouraging of destruction? It's kind of sad. All these very beautiful builds, and I have to break them all. I'm sure that the uh, I'm sure that the traders in the balloon saloon they spent so much time and effort on on making this and for me to just freaking destroy it feels bad, man. Uh, okay, let's go listen to music and blow things up, and then I'm gonna leave it to you guys to find the Deathbringer. Feel free, feel free to do it, and you can tweet a photo of you finding it. And uh, I expect you to have done it in survival. No spectator mode going and searching through the map. Although that even that might be difficult to do. Turn it up a little bit for this. Yeah. Actually, wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring this down, otherwise we probably won't be able to hear it when we're in the toilet bowl placing all the, uh, all the TNT. <laughs> Alright. Ow? Who dares, who dares to hit me like this? Okay, there's actually a lot of mobs in here. That's a little annoying. That's a little, little ridiculous. A little ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Um, this will, it'll be good. It'll be fine. Once we clear all these guys, uh, there, there will not be too many more mobs spawning, I don't think. Unless there's a spawner over there, in which case, maybe there will. But, um, here we go.
Oh god, don't, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, actually mob griefing is turned off, so they wouldn't, can, I can't actually remember, can creepers ignite TNT? Okay, they can, but they're not going to here because mob griefing is turned off, so I think we're in the clear with that at least. Um, I feel like we should Elytra away in order to witness this safely. Maybe Elytra over to there. Um, all right, everybody. This is what I call food poisoning. Held up remarkably well, actually. <laughs> do we do we uh, bring some light in though? Do we bring a little light in? Oh, it it blew up a little bit of the, the toilet seat lid. Yeah, did do that. Yeah, it brought a little light in over there. You know, it's I think it's an improvement actually. I think it's a real improvement that we did here. It's much more airy and spacious and stuff. Right, check for the sword. Yes, amongst the uh, numerous. Numerous things that are just laying on the ground here. I, I don't think the sword is around here The spore blossom and the drip leaf icons They still are really unsettling. They still remind me of like mud blocks. It just is it's so different it Catches me off guard when I end up having one in my inventory um, All right, well anyway, I think that wraps up toilet survival so uh Thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series. If you missed any episodes, um, there is a playlist in the description that you can check out, and uh, you'll be able to watch it from start to finish in there. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the bell. I did. Oh, you're right. I did. I forgot to cue up the music. That was that was really my mistake there. I can't believe I did that. Hold on. At least let's get it for the outro. I feel like I've I feel like I've really disappointed you all. Oh, you know what? I should try the dropper one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me cue up the music over here. We'll say farewell to the pigs, and then we will try the dropper. Uh, one last time with our 65 levels. Farewell. Thanks for being here. Didn't really do much. Didn't have the heart to, you know, turn you into food. So, uh, that's my excuse. And also, hey, keep in mind, U2's February 4th at, uh, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UK. All right, it'll be on the YouTube's website, which is pretty dope. Oh, free them? Okay. So they're free to uh, wander off the island and fall to their doom. Okay, everybody. Here we go. God dang it, man. Why can't I get that? Why can't I get that? Wait, do I have another totem? I have another try at this. I have another try at this. I will make this work. I will make this work. Okay, sheep, you too. All right, you guys too. There you go. Why is this so difficult? That's all, folks. I'll see you in the next one.